And Bram Chardin knows now the challenge, as he would expect from Boyd XL, would be a significant one. How much can he find? He's got to find three seconds. He was pretty sharp first time round, but I wonder, has he got more? His first round score was 164.61. Now, let's see what he can do. He's on his way now through the first, across the arena. He won't be hanging around. This is first World Cup qualifier of the year. Will it be a winning one? The man who won the championship in 2019. On his way. Keeping going. And looking good at the present. My goodness me, this is very sharp. No mistake, no hint of a mistake. And again, keeping the pace up through this first tricky obstacle. Now he's out through it, through the air. Now he can see. Let's see where he is coming out of the water. It was about 58 for Boyd XL. Is he up on the Australian? He is. He looks as if he could be a couple of seconds up. Can he keep this going? He cannot afford a mistake, though. So he's got to stay error-free. Now heading to the speed box. They look sharp. Great response. Very quickly through that. Now heading to nine, down the side. Plenty of speed. Then it's a turn, through, back through the water. How quick is he going to be out there? Oh, my goodness me, this looks terrific from Bram Chandon. He's not hanging around. He's got Boyd XL's time in his sights. Now through 11. No letter. Team working. Overtime at the back. Horses responding every inch of the way. Just a slight hesitation. Will that cost him dear? But they reacted so quickly, his horses. Now through D. Got to keep this up now. Here we go. Through to the F part. Now. Right, here he goes now. It's a dash to the line for Bram Chardon. He's on his way. Through 12. Up now over the bridge. Full tilt. 161.83 the target to beat. Can he get inside? He comes out of 14 so quick. He looks as if he is. My goodness me, he's going to smash it. That is extraordinary. He's found eight seconds on his opening round. And he has won so convincingly. That is just the most magnificent round of driving from Bram Shadow. No wonder he's leaping about in his carriage, and there's confirmation that Bram Chandon is the Geneva champion in this FEI Driving World Cup, beating Boyd XL in a thrilling competition, finding eight seconds on his first round. Thought it was good what Boyd XL did, finding five. Jerome Foutas in third. Well, I, I always like to come to Geneva from the very first day I started in the World Cup. I came here, and I've been close to Boyd many times. Uh, but I never was able to beat him. Uh, I was very fast three times, but then in the final round, he put on full, full pressure. That 161 was uh, incredible fast, but I think it's the, the public here that helped me around the course. They were amazing today. They supported me so much and uh, gave me a lot of energy. <clears throat> you know, my father drives to win and I drive to win and uh, this was my first show where Boy had two shows already, so I didn't know exactly where I stood. But to show this performance is giving a lot of confidence toward uh, Leipzig.